going to my house. I'm gonna go play with my dog, check out my old room, get a little bit of stuff together, see my old house, my old neighborhood. It's been about 15 months. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good dog there. Hey, puppy. Oh. How's that feel? That's nice. It's a lot better than those little tiny cots. I don't want to fold anything. It's been a long day. Just roll them. <sighs> Military style. It's a work shirt. I don't have a job yet. Well, now we're going to my new place. Um, it's in Fort Worth, and I can't live in Weatherford because um, I'm on parole, and they said I have to live in Tarrant County, so this is the only place that I could really live at. Uh, tonight, I think I'm going to have a couple friends come over. Friend Ben's coming over. He's, uh... And seen him in a while. Should be fairly uncomfortable because he's gonna feel uncomfortable about not riding me as much as I wanted him to, and I'm just gonna be uncomfortable because I'm already uncomfortable. Leave this place. What, the grandma? Yeah. Yeah. It's not at all what I thought it'd be. What you think it was gonna be? I don't know. Just normal? Normal? Is it, what is normal? Is this normal? No. Well, should I take a picture of the wall? How is, how is the time spent in prison? People read, people watch TV. I don't watch much TV, but I read a lot. Other people, I don't know, people, some people like to fight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get into that too much. Um, I had my near experiences, but that's not one of my favorite things to do. I basically just read, and when I had a phone, I talked on that, and then if I didn't, I wrote letters. At first, I thought that I was going to get out that first day, but like a week later, I was still... <laughs> Next month, uh, they're going to push it back to about the 30th. <laughs> it's always a different day. No, I think I was just wishful thinking. They weren't really stringing me along. I just kind of kept hoping that they would let me out, but they didn't feel I was safe to be out in public. I had a, in 99 I got three burglary of buildings, and then I got a credit card abuse to from the same thing from when we lived together. Yeah. And then that next year, when I went to that, that rave, uh, I, got, I got delivery and a possession of a controlled substance, four to 200 grams <laughs> of ecstasy. <laughs> Man, I remember when you first, you just, they came and picked you up and we were still in school. And I went and took that test for you. <laughs> and you took that test for me? Yeah, I took that test for you, but then we had the final. And you couldn't take that? No, I couldn't take that. So what happened final. with that? I still have your economics book. I was going to sell it and send you the money. <laughs> I, was, I was in prison and everything was going wrong. Like, I'm not getting out. Like, the first day I think I'm getting out, didn't get out. A week later, my lawyer keeps saying, well, maybe. No, I didn't get out. And then I get a, my mom gets a letter one day from my driver's license saying we've revoked his driver's license, he's suspended for two years, and the next day she gets one saying I'm on academic probation for those those classes. <laughs> Wasn't exactly a, a great few days for the Woody household. Man, I like this car. It's nice, isn't it? It's too bad I don't get to drive it whenever I want to. Maybe in uh, six months when I'm off parole I can resume my... Wait, wait, what do you mean you can't I can you don't drive have restrictions on, on your license. Do Actually, you? I do. Hey, hand me that notebook over there. I'll show you my driving log. I have to keep it. I have to, every time I drive, I have to write that down because I can only drive 12 hours a day. Uh, that's fine. Texas offender. 
It's you? That's me. What's it about, bro? 9980. I just got out of prison. 324, man. Alright. Cigarettes are a problem now. I should never have started smoking again because I am a fiend. It's like worse than it was before. Remember how many cigarettes I used to smoke? Yeah. Well, double that. That's where I'm at now. Now it's time for another. That's 14 and a half months without smoking. And, not, and never, not one time did I, well, okay, after two months, not one time did I think about smoking a cigarette. And now it's back to out of control. Do not ever present yourself with options when you know you shouldn't do it in the first place. Because you'll do it. That's words of wisdom right there. Alright, I feel better now. It's not me. <laughs> so what was it like dealing with your family for the first time? Uh, it was weird. My mom was okay. I mean, she, she's the only one that kind of, well, not the only one, my sister too, that wrote me a lot and did things for me. And there's a cop pulling me over. He's not pulling me over. <laughs> he's, he's getting the girl that I thought was hot. Oh my God, that scared the fuck out of me. God damn it. Stupid cops. What? What's going on here, Colby? First they come to my house and... <sighs> I'm not allowed to get any tickets while I'm on parole. I mean, even if I get a ticket, he can revoke my parole. That's the stupidest thing in the world, but that's what he told me. He may have been just saying that. And I also can't get any tickets because I have an occupational driver's license, and they can revoke that. So if he didn't revoke my parole, the occupational driver's license people can take that away. So I can't get any tickets, and that scared the shit out of me.